In this video, I'll show you a workaround to saving your fancy caption settings so that you can reuse them over and over again for different videos with the same settings, the same fonts and so on and so forth in the script storyboard. Now, I'm doing this workaround because it's not possible to save the style that you choose or create for your fancy captions. Now, uh, to add fancy captions, go up to this T here, click on captions. We have fancy captions available and you can now make the edits on this side. So let's move this down slightly and then the captions are available. You can either choose by speaker, composition name, marker or timer. Let's choose this setting right here. Click on that. Live text. You can filter speaker, show all or just the speaker that's on screen. That's me. And then we have either the classic karaoke or the clean look. Let's go for karaoke. And once we do that, let's actually move this somewhere we can see it. It's movable. Uh, we can actually change the active word uh, that we are seeing here uh, to whatever we want. So active word uh, is something like give it maybe a purple. That looks good. So that looks good. I think we can say we're satisfied. Now, let's assume this is the look that you're going for. If you want to reuse this, you'll have to recreate that each and every time. But it's simple with this workaround. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to delete these fancy captions. Let's delete and then let's get out of this project and then let's go to templates and let's create a new template. Uh, call it fancy captions for social and then we can press on enter. Let's change our uh, layout to switch to video and once we're here just come up to T captions and with that on screen just come up here and then choose what you want here, karaoke. So you have uh, the active word. What do you want it to look like? Here's a sample. You can actually pull it on the side to see that. Let's say we go with the purple that we set. If you have a custom color code, you can put it here and then you can adjust the opacity and so on and so forth. So, and let's actually, we can actually see what is going as we adjust right here. Let's say we want it at that level. And then we can close this out. If you're satisfied with that, let's close this out. Those are your custom captions. Then let's go to publish template. Uh, fancy captions. Let's click on publish template as a, as a private because you want to use it for your own content. Publish template. It's already published. We can close this. And then we can go out of the projects go back to uh, your recent projects. This particular project is what we were working on. Uh, that's where we added some fuzzy captions to. So this already has like a template, but the good thing is that you can add a template on, to on top of another template. So I'll go to the templates, click on that. And then we look for fancy captions for social. This is our template right here. And it's the fancy captions and I can just drag it put it on top of this applying template and let's just move this up. You'll see that our fancy captions have been added right there. So we can adjust. If later. you have any question or comment, kindly feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get back to you. So looks good, uh, fast and quick. And we can do that maybe on another video, probably let's say maybe this one. So, we can actually go to uh, come to this particular section, just get the fancy caption, drag it there, applying template, and you can see everyone. This is David, and that speeds up your process. You don't need to have to keep putting in uh, the text uh, or the fancy captions every other time inside your particular composition that you're working on. So that's a workaround to having the fancy captions set the settings that you want to use over and over again. So I hope this helps you, anybody going through this particular issue. Thanks for watching.